the dog. For the 1984 movie Ghostbusters, Academy Award winner Richard Edlin utilized a variety of special effects techniques to animate Gozer, the terror dog. There were numerous versions of the, of the terror dog. There was uh, two full-size ones and a pair of each, which had one of which had fully articulated body motions, but no articulation on the face. And the other one had articulation on the face, but not so much on the body. You had uh, a hole under the set, and you had a guy inside the terror dog, and then you have 20 people out there pulling levers, and, uh, and, and the whole thing was operated by one, two, three, one, two, and you have somebody kind of cheerleading to keep everything going here. Another version of the terror dog was given movement by stop motion. Stop motion employs a flexible puppet that is shot one frame at a time. The reason that movies, special effects work is because it's 24 still pictures per second. And because it's 24 still pictures per second, we can modify each one of those 24 frames specifically. And because of that capability, we can become magicians. And you can then make a, you make a puppet come to life by just filming each one of these frames successively and then projecting it back at 24 frames a second. Today's filmmakers now use computers in the stop motion process to control the puppet with great precision. So great, in fact, that puppets can now be moved during the single frame exposure. As you can see here, this causes the puppet to blur, which further simulates actual movement. So basically, we, we chose to go with the, with the kind of full body motion controlled with blur on it and the uh, stop motion of the creature itself. And, and that worked out pretty well. The stop motion terror dogs in Ghostbusters are just one example of stop motion's long career in the movies.